Welcome everyone. <laughs> Welcome everyone to Devo's Week Chronicles. <laughs> I am Devo. How y'all doing? Ooh, I gotta let that down. Enjoying some uh, Hindu Kush. Y'all got quite a bit of it, so I'll probably be smoking quite a bit a few videos. Not bad. Hindu Kush, folks. Thank you guys for coming in. Subscribing. Y'all have almost got me up there, man. I'm almost up there bumping the big golden 200. Thank you guys so much, you subscribers, for coming in and listening to these stories and stuff and watching the live panels and chatting and even coming in on the live panels, man. We had some dabbers in there last night doing dab, showing people how to do dab. We also had... Um, some tech guys in there showing us how to do some cool stuff with our um, avatar, stuff like that, yeah. And mainly trying to figure out how we can keep from getting porn bombed. Did I say that right? Porn bombed? Yeah. A lot of a lot of people doing that these days. I don't understand why. I mean, crap. I mean, you know, anybody that watches this channel knows that, you know, I don't talk about other people. I don't talk about politics, religion, or anything like that, really, I mean, I, I just tell stories about my past, and I guess them porn bombers, that eat them up, because they can't come at me, I mean, because I'm not, I don't give them an angle, but, you know, hey, I'm doing this just so you guys can smile, and, and you know, you enjoy, you know, your day, because, you know, I understand it, well, this one here is going to be a story about a giant catfish, giant catfish. Many, 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 many years ago, this is way before we ever started smoking or anything, so there's no weed in here, other than what I'm doing while I'm telling the story, and the Hindu Kush is making me tell the truth, but we got to, my, my dad, he worked at this place where um, it was on the water, and uh, we, uh, his job, we got to fish all the time, okay, because his job was right there on the, on the, on the river. So, uh, yeah, uh, it was late one night and me and my little brother, I was probably 12, 13 and he was nine, ten, something like that. Anyway, he was a little, little bitty guy, man. I mean, he was so small and where we were fishing, we tied a barge rope around him, made a little, you know, whatnot dad did and tied it to the rail in case these fish were huge folks. I mean, huge. when I say huge, I haven't seen any fish like this in years. I mean, like now, I guess they just don't get that big anymore. I don't know. But it wasn't uh, nothing to pull a 60, 70 pound flathead or, you know, out of there or a 40 or 50 pound blue out of there. You know, I mean, and they fight like crazy, especially when the water's pulling, you know, current. Anyway, he, he landed in. It was late, dark, no lights. We had a gigantic six and a half foot hoop net that we tied a rope to and we would throw down the water and you just kind of try to, you, we couldn't use lights because where we were at, we didn't want nobody seeing us. So you just kind of stab at it till you got it. Well, he hooked into one and it, he fought it and it took line, you know, it took line and line. He fought it, fought it. I fought it and fought it. My dad fought it and fought it. I mean, 45 minutes into this fight, we're switching this pole back and forth. Finally, we hear a, on top of the water so we know that it's up high enough you know so dad starts fishing dad starts fishing and he oh that's a log okay you know that, that feels like a log what he didn't know was is the head of the fish was in that net and he thought it was a log we finally it fell off in there where we couldn't get it out took all three of us to pull it up to where we could get our hands on it uh, the next morning we took pictures of it and my little brother is laying like this with his hands on his belly next to the fish and they took a picture of it and the fish is that much longer than he is. Yeah. It lost a lot of weight because we didn't weigh it when we caught it and we had it in an ice chest or what we could, it, it wouldn't fit and we could just stuck its head in the ice chest. And, uh, 88.5 baby, 88.5, 88 and a half pounds flathead. Yeah, had fillets like that. Had a heck of a fry. Hey, thank you guys for coming in and listening to these stories. 
Again, thank everyone. Hit like and subscribe and uh, hang out and there'll be another one soon. God bless. Keep smoking, man.